I've been meaning to make this video for a while, and the reason there's only 8 is because I can't think of 10 that I really like. And number 8, starting off the countdown, is going to be Getty Lee from Rush. Because I like him a lot because he's one of he's from probably my favorite Canadian band. And um, he's a great singer and stuff. And funny thing happened with this picture. Here, I'll show you. I was going to use two pictures, but it was so damn blurry that I just couldn't use it. I had such a tough time choosing between number seven and number six, but for number seven, I've decided to go with Steve Perry, the original singer from Journey. Uh, the reason that I chose him is pretty obvious. He's a great singer. He died too young. He he could hit high notes and hold them for such a good while. He was amazing. The new singer's good, but he was better. Please don't hate my guts for putting him here, but I put Fran Cosmo in front of the singer from Journey because... just because of one song. That song is Foreplay Long Time by Boston, and my god, is that picture blurry. And the singing in that song is so great. It's amazing. And yeah, 6 and 7 basically tie, because they're so both so good. Okay, just admit it. From the other singers that I put in here, you probably knew that this guy was going to be here. I don't care that he was gay, and he died so young, but he was good. Like... Bohemian Rhapsody is probably my friend PJ Scad's favorite song of all time. Might be mine, but probably not. It's still such a good song. Other things like Stone Cold Crazy. Oh my god, they were just so different and so good at the time. Okay, if you've heard of this guy before, leave me a comment in the comment section below saying that you have, because I don't think I know anyone else who knows this guy. He is in a group called Rioton. His name's pronounced UC Cadenius, and they're from Finland. I actually met him in real life. He is my idol for bass singing because he can sing so low. And, um, yeah, he's, their group does, like, um, acapella stuff. And, yeah, yet again, if you've heard of him before, leave a comment in the section. And I'm so sad that I could not get a good non-blurry photo of him. Okay, this is the only guy on the countdown who made it onto this countdown with one sound. Speak, Speak of, of the, the devil, devil, here, here comes, comes that, that sound, sound right, right now. now. Yeah, I just think that that sound is like... That scream is the best scream I've ever heard. Like, of all screams. And regardless of the scream, he's still a great singer. Okay, when we hit number one, do not leave the video, because I just made a mistake. It's actually top nine, and there's going to be a, num a number zero. So, yeah, right now it's David Drainman from Disturbed. Okay, this guy makes the coolest sounds. He goes like, wah ah, ah, ah and it sounds awesome. And he's a really good loud singer. Like, he can sing loud, but not scream. And, like, all of his songs are good. Listen to Disturbed. They're awesome. Okay, just remember that this is not number one, or the last one. This is number one, but it's not the last one. There is a number zero after this. Because I made a mistake. Um, yeah, Eddie Vedder is, like, the coolest guy ever. He made an- in he basically made his own genre of singing. He could talk and sing at the same time. It's so cool. And pardon me for saying could, because he still can, and he does. And, like, I read in the news one day at school that they were, like, making a new Pearl Jam album, and I was like, holy crap, this is awesome. So, yeah, um, listen to Pearl Jam. He's so cool. Talking and singing at the same time. Alright, seriously, I could go on all day talking about how good this guy is of a singer. He is amazing. Best singer I've ever heard. He's from System of a Down, which is also my favorite band. Now, being from my favorite band, it may seem like it was a bit of a dead giveaway that he was going to be first. But if you listen to System of a Down or didn't know that he was my favorite band, you should know that he should be first. He is the best singer ever. He, like, listen to things like Toxicity or... BYOB, but ignore the little scream at the beginning of BYOB, it might put you off of the song. And stuff like Chop Suey and things, he's like, from he's from the greatest band ever, and he's the best singer ever. So, yes. Um, listen to System of a Down, they're my favorite band of all time. And, yeah, even, they're ahead of the Beatles. That takes skill.